Hi my YouTube friends and welcome back to my channel. I am Dee and you are viewing The How To Lady, a channel that offers information related to organizations, DIY, and life hacks. And today I'm excited because we are going to show you how we organize our garage. So it's going to really be like a garage tour and just kind of show you some of our storage um, pieces and then if you'd like more information relative to how we did those things just make those suggestions and we'll respond accordingly now if you see anything that you like don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment because your comments are the driving force behind the content that we post so without further ado we're going to get this ball rolling and we're going to knock it out of the park. The containers that were used for storage were purchased from Michael's, Hobby Lobby, and of course, Walmart. We're going to start way up here. We have some things stored at the very top of the shelf. Now, when we built our home, we did not have any shelving unit out here in the garage. However, we um, went through a couple until we found the one that works for us. And I typically don't like storing things on the floor, but until we get a, another shelving unit to the right of this shelving unit, then those things will be down there. But as you've noticed, for the most part, I have clear containers. And when you have clear containers that are labeled, it makes it that much more easier to retrieve your items because you not only see what's in it, but you have a label there that lists what's in those containers. So to the right, we will add more shelving. We are already planning for that because the ceiling goes way up. Now we are very athletic and we love bike riding. So we have our bikes on bike racks. We have one more bike there that's below those two that we're going to put up on a rack. We just need to go purchase the rack and um, have that up off the uh, garage floor. As I stated earlier, I'm a labeler, so whenever the little ones come over, they know where to put things back because they're labeled. Here we are storing our gardening tools, shovels, um, rakes, things of that nature, and we got those uh, those mounts from Lowe's. And we're gonna get more because we want to put a ladder up. Also use the space up the, under the stairs in the garage. I've uh, took a tension rod and I mounted it between the post on the stairs beneath the um, exit door into the garage. And I put a small curtain there that kind of slides Whenever I need to get to my two, two cute items, all I do is slide the curtain and there my things are revealed. And then when I pack the things back, I just slide the curtain back and it's closed and it's out of the way and it doesn't look messy. And if you want more information about that, just let me know and I'll be happy to provide it for you. Also, this is where um, shoes are kept before entering into the house. Um, I keep mine on, but he takes his off and he, he puts them right there on that rack. We're able to keep the cars in the garage. Remember I said earlier, people some people have everything in the garage, but what's supposed to be housed there, and that's the car. We have two of our cars here, and then we have uh, two other cars that are on the parking pad. But this space, um, is able to hold all of the items that we cherish and use throughout the year. And as you can see, I have a lot of empty space there. So that means that is prime real estate for me to mount other things, other shelving units, and continue to get keep the garage in tip top shape. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Have a great day rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.
This video was strictly dedicated to a garage tour. Information regarding the containers and the items stored in the containers is available. Just let us know.